Michael, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you, please. I came to applaud you. Thank you very much. There ought to be some clause in the Constitution whereby I could appoint you all to Congress. <laughs> well, I appreciate this opportunity to thank you personally, not just for that warm welcome, but for the great job that you've been doing. In the final analysis, what this or any other administration is able to accomplish depends to a considerable degree on the people we place in the departments and agencies. And your hard work and long hours have paved the way for the successes that, we, that we've had. When I hear about one of our appointees doing a terrific job, I certainly appreciate the individual, but I can tell you I also appreciate the person who put the appointee in the position in the first place. So please don't ever think you're taken for granted. Your task is much more difficult than what personnel managers in the private sector face. We not only need people who are professionally qualified, but also individuals who are committed to those goals that ideals which are at the heart of our administration. And as Bob Tuttle, Tuttle says, they must possess the two C's, competency and commitment. Has he already said that to you? <laughs> well, we didn't come here for business as usual. It takes highly motivated people to overcome the frustrations and push forward. And I'm proud of those that we've put in positions of authority. They haven't let us down. Of course, speaking about being motivated, as you know, is going to remind me of a story. <laughs> and it does. It was a fellow that always wanted to work with animals. And then he saw an ad one day for the zoo. So down he went. And then they told him what his first assignment would be is to put on the gorilla suit because the gorilla died. And uh, he wasn't too happy about that, but they said no. But as soon as the new gorilla arrives, then you'll have a regular job taking care of the animals. So he signed on. Well, he got a little tired just sitting in there in the cage with the kids looking at him. So finally he began doing tricks and things to entertain them. And, swinging on a rope and so forth, and one day got so carried away, he swung too far and dropped in the lion cage. And the lion came roaring at him, and he stood up and started screaming, please, somebody get me out of here, help, get me out. And the lion jumped on him, said, shut up or you'll get us both fired. <laughs> well, we depend on our appointees to be loyal and do their jobs and to do it well. And uh, whether we get the right employees depends on you. So I'm not going to take any more of your time other than to just say you've been doing that and I thank you again for all that you're doing. I know it's difficult at times, but just keep plugging away and God bless you all for all that you've accomplished, made possible. Thank you.